Hi everyone, I'm Michael Hall, Community Manager at Influx Data. In my last video, I showed how fast and easy it is to use an Influx DB template to get started with a monitoring setup from scratch. It took us literally less than five minutes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make that template and show you that it's just as fast and easy to make a template as it is to use one. I'm going to use the same example as last time. This is my website monitoring dashboard. I set this all up in InfluxDB, created my dashboard cells, added some variables, some buckets, some labels, all of that built just through the UI itself. I also have a Telegraph configuration file that I generated using the Telegraph's command line. I'm not going to go through how to do this in this video, but all the information is available in our documentation. It makes it nice and easy. If you already have a Telegraph config and you already have an InfluxDB dashboard and you want to make that available to other people, I'm going to show you how to do that today. So one of the things that I did to make this easier is I created a label for all of the resources that I want to export in this template. As you can see, I've got some other things in this InfluxDB instance that are not going to be part of that template. You can specify individual resources when you export, but I find it easier to just give everything a label and export it using that label. So I'm going to come to my terminal here, and instead of using environment variables this time, I'm using the built-in credential system. So I'll show you what I have so far. So the Influx CLI now lets you store credentials instead of putting them in the environment. And you can have multiple set up and switch between them easily. So here I've got one for my regular Cloud2 instance that's got my actual production data in it. And I've created a separate one for the demo that I'm doing here today. So using that, I can now export the information that I have in my InfluxDB as a template file. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start the clock again so we can see just how quick and easy this is. All right. So to export it, we use the influx package export command. Now again, you can specify individual resources at this point, but I want to export everything that's got that website label on it. So I'm going to export all. I'm going to use the filter parameter to give it a label name of website because that's what I called my label. Now it'll export everything that has that. And I'm going to put that in a file called website template.yaml. And that's it. Now we have a manifest file. And we can see what's in it with influx package summary. You can see all of the things that this template file has. The one thing it doesn't have right now is that telegraph config file because I generated that as a standalone file. So now that I have this manifest with everything that was in InfluxDB, I want to add my telegraph config to it. So to do that, I'm going to come over here to my editor. I'm going to open up my YAML file that I just exported. You can see this has got all of the data for the dashboards and the uh, buckets and the queries and everything. I'm going to come all the way down here to the bottom, and that's where I'm going to add my telegraph config. Now I'm going to come over to the community templates GitHub repo, where I've got a best practices document. And one of the sections in there is how to add a telegraph configuration. So I'm just going to grab this little bit of YAML right here that I need. I'm going to put that into the bottom of my template manifest file. Now I can go grab my entire content of my telegraph config. I don't need to change anything in it. I'm just going to grab it how it is. And I'm going to post the whole thing right here. Now to make it valid YAML, I'm going to indent this so that it's under the uh, config key here. And that's it. Now I've got my telegraph config inside my template manifest. Everything's there and ready to go. Now if I come back again to run the summary, you can see that it does have the telegraph config. So that's it. That took us 2 minutes and 20 seconds to take a InfluxDB instance with everything set up and turn it into a template. Now that template file is exactly what I used in my last video to set up a new instance of InfluxDB from scratch to a working dashboard and everything, including having that telegraph in there uh, and being able to pull that on the server uh, without having to download or change files manually. So that's it. If you have an InfluxDB2 instance right now, uh, you've already got your dashboards configured, you already have your Telegraph files set up and running, 
you can turn all of those things into a reusable template, either a generic one that people can use for their own deployments, or something that you can use to do repeated deployments of your own configuration. I look forward to seeing what you guys make. Thank you.